One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of you make preventing you from dropping higher kill games is failing to regain. So today, we're going to be breaking down a 29 kill solos win that I had, where I'm going to be honest with you, I die five different times here. It's not that clean of a game, but we still drop 29 kills, and a big part of that is my regain process. So after each death, we're going to talk about my thought process. Where do I land? How do I go about regaining? How do I get that momentum and pace back? Now, as we're kind of looting up right here, I just want to talk about one quick thing to start off, which is early game momentum. If you are subscribed to me, you know that I talk about this all the time, but here is why early game momentum is so important. This is what happens to a lot of you. A lot of you drop in and you're not able to get loadout or loadout guns, which means you're then forced to rotate over toward your, toward your free loadout. Then your whole entire team hits that to get loadout guns and perks, and it disappears, at which point you lose that safety net if you die, right? So that's where early game momentum is so important. One quick thing, guys, about fighting in this building. It's one of my favorite drop spots, but I always try to stay on the outside as much as possible. The inside, you can get shot from a lot of different angles, whereas on the outside, I can go ahead, I can kind of see in this way, I can play the rooftop, and if I get shot at this point, I can easily drop down and play it up. We're able to get kill number two right there. We break this guy who I know just flew back in, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the pressure on him. I know he doesn't have a gun right now. I know he doesn't have plates, so we're going to go ahead and push in here, and this is our first death. This guy just, you know, I just miss a few shots he hits all he hits really good shots with the Vaznev it is what it is so this is kind of the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to regaining which is not over committing a lot of you really over commit you just go I'm going to land right back on bunker or I'm going to land totally elsewhere on the map instead watch what I do I fly back in a little bit and then I pull now I want you to notice this guy right here See this guy floating around right here? I know this guy's right here still in bunker building or floating around there. But at this point, I have a decision to make. I can land heli building. I can land back at bunker. I can land hotels. I can land wherever I want. And I still have spawn protection at this point. Now, what ends up happening in my decision is I'm going to go land on the roof. Another tip that I have for you when it comes to regaining is always remember where you die and always remember where you killed somebody. If you remember, I killed the guy right in this doorway. Now, if I go land here in this doorway this guy that's down here he's not going to be able to get up quick enough to challenge me until i have a gun right so as i fly in here i know that he knows i'm here right he clearly is aware that i landed in so i'm immediately going to go ahead and engage we've got a lockman we've got a hurricane smg i'm pretty sure so we can go ahead and challenge once again we challenge from the outside of the building we're able to get that kill now right here your thought process needs to be I know that there's still that other guy, right? That was the that was the guy that I broke on the rooftop. There's still the guy that killed me, and I don't know where he is just yet. So we're just going to loot up for a second here. I get a little bit lucky, and this is where the RNG factor comes in that I do get a portable radar. When we talk about regaining, guys, it's important to understand, and we'll kind of revisit this common theme a lot. It's about one kill, right? So that one kill right there, it got me plates, ammo, cash. Like, I'm good to go. And in duos, trios, and quads, that one kill also gets you information about where enemy teammates are, at which point you can kind of keep rolling from there. Now, right here, we're able to hit shots. We're able to get that knock. Let's go ahead and keep the pressure on here. And then we're just going to loot up. We're going to focus on getting loadout. Now, one thing that I do want to say about loadout is going to be the dynamic of loadout cost. I know that loadouts are expensive in quads. Frankly, I think that bunker building might be one of the only places, maybe like the horseshoe building over by castle, that you can actually get loadout consistently in quads. But... If we can get loadout in quads, we create that safety net. Duos, trios, it's actually pretty easy to get that loadout down. You've just got to win your early game and loot up a little bit. Once again, taking the outside. Taking the outside here to go ahead and challenge on the rooftop. I know one is up here. We are able to get that kill. And then I'm going to go ahead and die to this guy over this way. So now what do we do, right? Now we have our loadout down. We haven't hit it yet. Watch the patience right here. Watch the patience that I have when flying in. Once again, not over committing. And by, I'll revisit the cost of loadouts here in a second. And especially talking about the free loadout dynamic. Now, don't over commit. Like, I am way high up here. I fly down a little bit. Why did I fly down a little bit? I thought this guy was, this guy on the roof, right? So this is the CDL skin that just killed me. He absolutely melts this guy that jumps off. I thought he was going to jump down. And I'm sitting here going, like, there is no way that you're not going to chase that guy, right? Like, there's no way that you're just going to continue to sit up here. And the moment he jumps off, like, I'm flying in. I'm taking that loadout. I end up putting myself in a little bit of a tough spot here. I end up flying around a little bit too long. Not because of this guy, right? I'm still waiting 
still waiting. Okay, now I know that I'm safe, right? Now I know that I can get this loadout. This guy, it's going to take at least like 10 or 15 seconds for him to get to the roof. So I know that I have that split second that I need to grab loadout. What I didn't anticipate was getting shot from heli building. And like you see right here, guys, I'm absolutely a bullet. So now we talk about the regain, okay? In this moment... I need one single kill. One single kill is all I need to be able to get plates, get ammo, get cash again, and we'll be rocking and rolling. I just got to find a way to get that clean kill. By the way, if you haven't already, guys, make sure you are subscribed down below. My whole goal is just to help you become a better Ashika Island player. I've got a 4.2-something KD, and with my content, I just want to help you get more kills, die a little less, pick up more wins, which ultimately allows you to have more fun. Notice that I did run by this portable radar, guys. I, I didn't see it in the moment, obviously, or else I would have grabbed it. There's one right here. This is where sometimes you over loot. I'm just going to go buy UAV. Let's go take the smarter option here. Let's go ahead and buy a UAV. Let's pop it. And we immediately start pushing. When we talk about regaining, guys, I'm right back. I'm exactly where I need to be. Look at, okay, I need a little bit of ammo. That's one thing that I did notice about right here is like, hey, I don't have a ton of AR ammo. I'm good on SMG. I'm good on plates. I'm good on cash. I'm good on smokes and throwing knives. I just need a little bit of AR ammo. But I can still get a kill. There's a bunch of people over here. There's that kill. And by the way, I still have 13 bullets here. If I was, you know, if we're in duos, trios, quads or something, like I might be able to get that thirst. Instead, we got to go push for the thirst, which is fine. This is exactly what I'm talking about with your regain process, guys. It takes one single kill. Look at everything that comes out of this guy's body with the loot vomit. Portable radar, tons of cash, tons of plates, ammo. Like that guy has everything that I need. A lot of you get into this mindset of like, I need everything before I start pushing again so it's like no sometimes you just need just enough to be able to get a kill at which point you can get that momentum going again we're going to play positioning right here trying to see what i can find we're going to be able to get that kill by the way we're at eight kills already we've got 35 other people still alive one guy snipes me over there that's fine we'll just go ahead and sit in this corner for a second we're going to go ahead and play it up now this guy hits me with a really good nade by the way we still got some deaths to talk about here and i think the later deaths will bring even more value to you because those ones get a little bit more unique you know those are situations that i think a lot of you struggle with now right here by the way notice guys free loadout right here Right, so the free loadout's right over that way. We're going to go ahead. I need to get out of here. I need to reposition. I need to find a different angle. As we push out, we're going to get this guy who gets absolutely smoked. We finally hit our throwing knife, but unfortunately, this guy's just sitting in a corner. You're going to see it on the kill cam, guys, and this is one that I want to continue talking about. If you let this affect you, if you lose full at that guy sitting in a corner, you are not going to drop a 30 kill game right here, or I'm not going to drop a 30 kill game, right? So let's go ahead and fly back in. Now, in... In specifically trios and quads, but duos as well, and, and even in solos here, you get one chance to hit this free loadout. The moment that every single person on the team has hit the free loadout, it disappears. When we talk about that early game momentum, by the way, look, right back in the mix here. I'm, I'm pushing my way right back over there. I know where everybody is over here. I know there's a lot of people. When we talk about getting early game loadout, if I get early game loadout and we're playing quads with like three people and I never die, they can hit that loadout over and over and over and over again. They can basically hit it as many times as they need to if they're dying until I hit it. The moment that I hit it and everybody on our team has hit it once, that's when it disappears. That's where the early game momentum is so important. Yes, it's pretty tough to do and stay alive the whole game and never hit it, but you never know what can happen. Let's go ahead. We're going to push our way right back over this direction. We've got 10 kills, one flying under me, so or one right down below me. So we're just going to keep the pressure on. We're going to keep that guy, uh, keep, surprise him essentially, get that easy kill. But notice there's still a bunch over the, here that have to push in. I'm well aware that I only have 105 bullets, but that's plenty to get kills, especially in solos. And you could even take out a whole team at this point, right? I have enough ammo to take out a whole team. That guy gets absolutely fried. 12 kills right here. We're going to see that guy can't quite get that kill notice the ping right here one down below me so let's go ahead quick reload i know he's over here somewhere i know he's got to push out there's that one kill number 13 this is where we talk about positioning holding people out of circle as opposed to as opposed to the other way around now i know that there's still people over here so i'm going to work my way over and this is going to be the next death that we talk about i just get caught out in the open guys absolutely no cover he's on a head glitch the only way i win this is if i make an absolutely insane play it's just not going to happen i get fried so now what do we do okay 
We've got no free loadout. I've got no loadout. This is where cash flow comes in, right? We've got $5,000. That is enough to go ahead and land on a buy station and buy a gun. Hindsight being 2020, guys, I'm a little bit aggressive flying in here. I don't necessarily check to see if anybody's here. That's probably the smart play. I decided to just go ahead and play a little bit aggressive here. We're going straight to the buy station. This guy's flying above me. I kind of dare him to to uh, to throw it and shout me, which he does. We grab the Vel, right? We still, we're just short of buying another gun here, but we're going to grab the Vel. We get that kill. There's the one kill that we need. We get plates, we get ammo, we get cash, we get everything that we need to regain here. And now I hear another one above me. But let's go ahead and try to challenge real quick. Or I try to buy my ISO hemlock. Can't quite do it. So now we got to go ahead and take care of this guy above me. But even if I die here right here, guys, which I don't. Look how much cash I have. I would still have enough money to easily fly back in on a buy station and buy my guns. What do we do? Now we throw loadout down, okay? So we got the portable radar down as well, which gives us information. One to my left side here that we got a chow. Then another guy rolling in, right? So that's where the cash flow and the, the momentum component comes into play. Now, right here, guys, we've got loadout down. I haven't hit loadout yet. I'm kind of dancing a little bit with my Vel. I just get over aggressive here. Absolutely no need for it. Absolutely no need to play this aggressive. Super frustrating, but this guy makes a good play. He's just like, you can go do whatever you want. Go jump around like a bunny. It's kind of ironic that I say a bunny when he's the bunny, but notice he's just kind of letting me jump around, and that's a pretty easy kill. So now what do we do? Right? We have loadout here. Can't hit loadout because that guy's just going to be sitting on it, right? So this is a big one that I want to talk about. And if you've made it this far, first of all, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is one of the biggest things that I want you to take away from this video, which is landing close to a buy station or close to your loadout and rotating over. This right here is how we counter loadout campers, which is, I know, a big issue on Ashika. I know this guy's here, right? How many of you would try to be over aggressive and try, just try to challenge that guy? Instead, I'm going to go ahead and fly over this way. We see an unopened crate right there. So we're going to go ahead and grab the unopened crate. I kind of hear a bunch of crates around. So I know I'm at least a little bit safe. By the way, 17 kills thus far. We've gotten 18 other people left. And what are we right now? 17 and 4 maybe? Like we're still over a 4 KD at this point. So we're going to go ahead and break through. We see this guy flying in, so let's go ahead and challenge him. We'll go ahead and take our kill number 18, and now we go ahead and rotate over towards our loadout, right? I still know that I have loadout. I obviously want to get loadout, and this goes for any loadout you buy. It goes any for any free loadout that you get. Any loadout that is there where there is a team that's camping it or close by, go in with this with this same mentality. I'll tell you this, guys. You have one opportunity to land on free loadout. If there's a team camping on the free loadout, do not land on it again. You can complain about loadout campers all you want, but that's on you. That's not on them. You, If you're just going to keep giving them free kills, then they're just going to keep taking them. So don't land on it. Instead, grab a gun, rotate over, what do you know? Just like I told you, look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. That is the definition of a loadout camper. This guy could not be staring harder at my loadout. And you know what? That's a pretty easy kill right there. We show him some love, and then we grab loadout. Now, first thing that we do, we go back to the buy station. We throw portable radar down. That's a, just a very easy way to get information. Notice at the buy station, there was no UAV here. Let's go ahead and go back. We're going to grab that. Notice there was no UAV available. Well, we get unlimited portable radars here, so let's go ahead and buy. It. Let's go ahead and use that information to try to see what I can find. Sure enough, we're going to get one up top here. We catch a quick, quick glimpse. He's broken. I'm not. Let's go ahead and keep the pressure on here. 20 kills right there. We still got 16, 15 other people at this point. Now, what do we do from here? Not 100% sure. This is where we use a UAV tower, right? So, yes, we can buy portable radar. I actually use that and throw that down. I created another safety net for myself just in case I needed it. This is something that you can absolutely do in any game mode that you play. Obviously, again, a little bit harder to do in quads. By the way, notice the live ping right there. Live ping allows me to know that he's on the buy station. You can absolutely do that in quads if you have enough cash. And it's actually a pretty smart decision. Pretty smart if you guys have 20 to 30 grand or something. I actually don't hit the UAV tower. I absolutely should have. If you use a UAV tower, guys, make sure you smoke it. I think you're going to see that in a little bit. 
in the meantime, guys, we're just going to go ahead, keep the pressure on him. 21 kills, 13 other people. You, If you have like 30 grand, buy a loadout, get that thing into zone just in case anybody dies. Your teammates can always protect it for you. Make sure that you can land on and grab it. It just, the more safety nets that we can create through loadouts, through cash flow so that we can buy guns at a buy station if, if that's the only option that we have, the more safety nets that we can create, the better off we're going to be. Also, don't forget the first one that I had for you. As we're popping this, don't forget the first one, right? Don't forget where you died. Don't forget where you killed somebody. You can always land back on your loadout guns or back on somebody else's loadout guns if you wipe a team and grab theirs and keep rolling. A lot of people, especially as you improve, guys, especially as you improve, a lot of people are going to be running meta loadouts. You're going to see a lot of hemlocks that are built the same. Built the same. You're going to see a lot of Lockman subs. So you should have comfort with those. You know, for players that are still improving, you might see some wonky builds. So just be careful of that and, and the build that you grab. Make sure it's at least somewhat viable. Now, right here, we're going to go ahead and challenge this guy based on the information again. We get the down right there. We're going to go ahead and get the thirst real quick. Now, we're going to... By the way, notice the high alert. I don't know how many of you caught that, but this is where perks are so valuable. You know, the best perk, in my opinion, in this game is high alert because of the lack of outplay potential. You know, if I go ahead and challenge this guy... If I don't have high alert here, there's a good chance that I just keep challenging that guy and I die. I do end up moving in that situation because of that high alert. That's where we really want to kind of uh, really prioritize getting loadout and keeping loadout up as much as possible. We're able to get that kill. 25 kills. We got six other people alive here. Now we just got to figure out. I end up being over aggressive here, guys. I Respawn's disabled. Like I told you guys, this is 29 kill win, so we are going to clutch this up. I end up being aggressive here because I wanted the 30. I really wanted to push for the 30 here so we end up being very aggressive just can't hit shots right there look how long this takes for me to catch up to this guy i'm trying to track you can see that I, i'm kind of perfectly tracking with him i just can't quite get that kill until we finally catch up to him we hit him right here we're going to challenge this guy again same sweat that i've been fighting for a while i think not 100 percent sure 27 kills we got three other people so i know that i need to get these last three kills right here i know that i need to get these last three but we're also not going to be too over aggressive we're just going to play this a little bit patient try to see if this guy will peak not anything yet i'm just kind of playing this game with him like i dare you to peek this i you're gonna have to peek one side i'm just not 100 percent sure where good double smoke by that guy another thing with loadouts guys is getting those lethals lethals and tacticals definitely a big advantage now we got a pretty good circle rotation other thing that i will say guys is i absolutely could have bought a durable gas mask at the buy station those are really good to buy now in this moment guys we know that one player is over this way right so he just activated the uav tower we know there's three people left one is down here somewhere that was the guy we were just looking at the the Lionel Messi skin we got this guy over here and then we're missing one enemy we don't know where the last one is there's that guy right there so we scare him just enough to be able to go challenge this guy to my left side I know this guy is over here somewhere okay so one just died right so now we're at 27 kills two other left we know exactly where they are one's over to my left side here one's over to my right side and I got to be aware of both. There's the guy to the right side. So let's go ahead and challenge him. We put ourselves in a really good spot to finish up this end game, guys. We got everything that we need because of the basically what we did to regain throughout this whole entire game. We've got our loadout guns. We're out of smokes. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But we got a good circle pool here. We got one throwing knife left. Throwing knives, you could probably run Semtex in solos, guys. But I just keep throwing knives on to keep it simple. Throwing knives are great in duos, trios, and quads. Save your ammo. Get your kill immediately. Get that information about where the other teammates are. I know that he's got to be rotating in from this way somewhere. Just not 100% sure what direction. Sure enough, there he is. We keep him live pinged. Yep, we're able to easily get that kill. So I hope you found today's video helpful, guys. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.